This is uh, a problem similar to number 11 on the week three homework. Um, sorry about my graphic there. It just copied kind of funny. A standard deck of cards contains 52 cards. One card is selected from the deck. Compute the probability of randomly selecting a 9 or an 8. Uh, compute the probability of randomly selecting a 9, 8, or ace. Compute the probability of randomly selecting a four or a club. I'm going to scroll up here. M many of you, I, I would I would hope most of you understand um, how many cards are in a deck of cards. But let's see. I'm I'm going to go over this real quick. In deck of in a deck of cards. Let's see. How can I do this? Red. You got red cards. And you got black cards. We're not playing with Hello Kitty cards here. They're red or black. Of those uh, red or black cards, there's also, uh, in the reds, there is hearts and diamonds. Diamonds. And then there's the black cards or clubs or spades as far as the suit. I'm going to make this prettier in just a second. And then within each of those, we have uh, denominations. We have uh, ace, king, queen, jack, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and a deuce. So let's look at these. So there's, if we were to look at these, there are 26 reds. 26 blacks. And of course, that totals to 52. If we look at the hearts, diamonds, clubs, and spades, there are 13 hearts and 13 diamonds, which together make up the uh, red cards. So there's my red cards. And then there's 13 clubs and 13 spades which together make up the 26 black cards. I don't know how I can make those. Uh, anyway, these are black. And then I've got, let's go down through here and kind of center these. I've got a total number of four aces, four kings, oops, four queens, four jacks, four tens, four nines, four eights, four sevens, four sixes, four fives, four fours, four threes, and four twos. Um, oops, there we go. Now, the four aces, one would be the ace of hearts, one the ace of diamonds, one the ace of clubs, one the ace of spades, and so on. So there are 52 total cards. I can look at them as red or black. <laughs> In other words, there is, there are four aces, Ace of hearts, ace of diamonds, ace of clubs, ace of spades. Two of those uh, aces are red, two are black. Let's see what the questions are here. Compute the probability of randomly selecting a nine or an eight. There are four nines and four eights. So the probability of getting a nine or eight, did I say eight or nine? Doesn't matter. Nine or eight is, let's come right here and say, okay, think about it. I'm going to open my parentheses. There are four nines plus four eights. That's four plus four. I'm just clicking on the cells. Divided by the total number of cards is 52. So my probability would be 0.1538 in uh, decimal form, but I think they might want you to put it in uh, fractional form. So, in fractional form, think about it. It would be, I'm going to have to put this in parentheses so Excel doesn't try to do something with it. 8 over 52. And I have to simplify that. 8 over 52. Now, um, 4 will go into 8 two times, and 4 goes into 52. 13 times. Think about it. 13 plus 13 plus 13 plus 13 is 52. So my simplified answer would be 2 thirteenths. Let's see if I can make these as big as those. There. 
all it reads that is, see, that's what happens with Excel. Let me put it in quotations here. Two thirteenths. I do that so Excel doesn't read it as a date. All right, the probability. What's the second question? An eight, a nine, or an ace. All right. Probability of an eight or nine or ace ace is equal to the four eights. Uh, let's put a parentheses in there so that it gets that right. Plus the four nines plus the four aces divided by and the total number of cards, which is 52.2308 decimal form, but fractional form, not simplified, would be 12 over 52 because there are four eights, four nines, four aces. And if I simplify that, four goes into uh, 12 three times. And 4 goes into 52, of course, 13 times. Now, the third question on mine, let's see what it was. The probability of randomly selecting a 4 or a club. This is a tricky one. On this one, we've got to subtract out the 4 of clubs. 4 or a club. Let me explain it to you. Probability of selecting a 4 or a club. Now, think about it. It is... How many clubs are there? I'm going to come right down here. There are 13 clubs. Clubs. There are four fours. Four fours. Ah. I, tell you, I see this right here. I got that in the wrong place. I'm going to fix this. this is now, four fours. However, you have to remember you've got uh, the four of clubs. Don't count the four of clubs twice. So there's 13 clubs, 13 clubs, plus four fours. But there's not a 17 total. We've got a four of clubs, four of clubs, that we have counted twice. So we're going to have to subtract that out, negative 1. So if we put those together, equals 13 plus 4 plus subtracting that out. There's actually 16 cards that are 4s or clubs. We subtract 1 out because we don't want to count the 4 of clubs twice. We either count it as a club or a four, but we can't count it twice. So there's 16 cards that are either fours or clubs. And our answer will end up being uh, 16 divided by 52, or the simplified form, which is 4 thirteenths. Now mathematically, I'm going to show you how to do this one too. 4 thirteenths. Now, if I were to do it decimal-wise, it would be equal to uh, the four clubs, I'm sorry, the four fours, plus the 13 clubs, minus one, because we have to subtract out the overlap, where you have the four of clubs divided by 52, that gives us 0 0.3077, which indeed is 1650 seconds. Not a hard problem. You know, you just have to make sure that you don't count anything twice.